Hi there, it's Adam Roberts from Roberts Beginner System. We have a Samic SU105 from 1987 in stock. It's in black polyester here in our showroom near Hobby Airport, Houston. The cabinet is in immaculate condition. It just needs some wiping down of some hand marks from when we work on it. It comes complete with a matching bench. As you can see, the keys are in immaculate condition. There's no cracks, no pona marker, no splitting. And the pedals have been buffed out. That's kind of a darker brass color buffed out the little feet on the left side too. I'm waiting to get the right products uh, to finish the name, get it shined up a bit better. On these pianos, I like to celebrate the fact that they got a German uh, technician, I believe, to scale the piano, which is the, the gauge of the string, I believe, and also the thickness, the length, and just the design of the stringing. If you know more about that, please do comment. There's also a Samic logo on the side of the fullboard, which is quite nice here, as well as you can see the one there and here. No cracking on the bottom, which is usually the case with pianos that have been moved around, but this piano was obviously kept well. The music desk is 25 and a half inches wide, just about enough space for three sheets of paper. The height of the piano is 42 inches. So as you can see, the inside is in very good condition. There's no rusting or mold, or, or we haven't seen anything that's at all. It's in very good condition. It's 87, so it's about 35 years old. And all the felts are in pretty much new condition. If you look at the leathers on the back of the hammer butt and you can see the back checks, there's no warping, no abrasive wear. All the flanges, which is the part you can see down there, small little spring on the bottom of the hammer, they're in good shape, they're all working properly, and so the dampers. All the damper felts are in good shape and they're working very well. Hammer wear is minimal. If you look along the top here, you can see very little wear of the hammer, uh, hardly played. The strings are not rusted. This bar here is the Celeste rail, and if you look along here, they've designed it differently. Remember, we only have two pedals, not three. The, usually, the middle one works with the Celeste rail. Uh, the Celeste rail here, in this case, is manually implanted. You, you or press down, sorry. You press it down here, and it goes this little metal wedge they've invented goes underneath there. You get the Celeste rail, which is a, otherwise known as a practice pedal. So I'm six foot seven, so I have very long legs. So the height of the piano bed is 23. The key bed is 23 and a half inches above the floor. So that's how much space you're going to have for your legs. So the back check is that green felt that's stopping the hammer from going back again. The closer you can get that, the, the easier it is to repeat the note twice because you're not so far away from the string. So it's not too bad, but it could be a tiny bit closer. It should be probably three eighths of an inch away, roughly. And it should be consistent, which is not. The other thing is let off. Let off should be as close as possible so you get control almost to touching the string. If you get control almost touching, you can play, play pianissimo. And the closer you get, the softer you can play. It should be even as well, so it feels even. If you hear the buzzing, it's the pedal rod which is missing a little rubber washer. We'll put that in as well. So I have um, 50 grams of weight here with the pedal down and I'm checking how much resistance there is to 50 grams. And it's almost it's very even. There's a few we could work on to lubricate and get them closer to the others. So it's more even. The piano comes together with this small uh, bench that I think came from the factory because I have another one. I have another one in stock with a very similar style of bench, simple basic bench. This is kind of faux leather padding and it's very basic, but it comes with the piano and it matches quite well. Now let's take a listen to the piano, uh, apart from the recording you've been hearing during the review of this piano, but let's listen to the piano and see what it sounds like. So that's the Samic SU-105 console piano in stock at Robert Chianos, Houston. Your hobby airport you're welcome to come and play it yourself uh, thanks for your time for watching this video and for listening to me for five minutes uh, i look forward to having you here and uh, having you here thank you very much for watching